does film mean to you? Film? Mm -hmm. I think film is storytelling. Mm -hmm. And storytelling in a way where、uh, someone can just be in a room and listen for whether it's five minutes or、uh, 30 minutes or two hours and let the director basically take you through the storytelling process.、Mm -hmm. And through that process, you get to feel, you get to hear, you get to see, and hopefully at the end of the movie, Uh, you get to think somehow differently、mm -hmm. than when you step into the room.、Mm -hmm. So that's what film means to me.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how often does that happen to you? Well, considering last year for the、uh, Taiwan International Queer Film Festival, I saw about 500 movies、um, in order to select the final 100. It happened quite a lot. <laughs> wow, okay.、Yeah. okay. And how. Do you, would you like describe the state of queer cinema at the moment? And I guess you really have a broad perspective because you seem to move you know, on this globe a lot. <laughs> like, is, how, how would you like, feel the zeitgeist or whatever? So, you mean queer cinema globally or regionally, or how do you mean? It's up to you. Okay. Well, I think、um, queer cinema or queer content globally has been、uh, advancing quite a lot.、Mm -hmm. And that's in pace with a lot of the political and social and cultural developments. For example, now there are many countries that allow gays to get married,、um, and there are more and more sort of respect of、um, rights for the LGBT community,、mm -hmm. even in countries that previously were quite、um, religious、mm -hmm. or intolerant.、Mm -hmm. And so I think that flowering has also, at the same time,、um, created、uh, this kind of renaissance in LGBT content. Uh, we can, of course, look at Hollywood and see whether it's on TV or it's in cinema. There's just a lot of variety of、um, LGBT main characters or sub characters or、um, sub plot lines that involve sort of like diversity of the community.、Um, in places where traditionally we don't get to see a lot of queer cinema, for example, in Asia,、um, I think、uh, for people like me, I am.、Um, Motivated and incentivized by、uh, seeing what's happening in the US and also to、uh, many, many extent what's happening on the film festival circuit, including the Bellinale, sort of、uh, having so much diversity of LGBT content. That gives us confidence to actually try、uh, more things back at home、um, and tell our stories to the rest of the world. And so, at least in Taiwan,、um, more and more people are actually、uh, taking the steps to create. Queer, I wouldn't necessarily say cinema because sometimes the content is consumed online instead of in a movie theater. But、um, I think they are、um, kind of like the, the, the sort of like genesis of something that could be potentially longer format later. So a lot of people are testing a lot of、um, content and concepts online. And hoping that they can generate、uh, audience and、uh, potentially grow that into something、uh, of a longer format, whether it be TV series or movie, actually on the big screen.、Mm -hmm. um, do you think, like, talking about like, the Taiwanese context, for example, that like,、yeah. this entire online possibility you know, gives people the opportunity to escape like, state censorship or just dealing with like, power structures、mm. that, that like, filmmakers in the past, you know, Really had to like overcome, you know, as obstacles. And, right. You know, where like this virtual world is being so heavily criticized for like, you know, legitimate reasons, but there's also a certain space of freedom opening up. Right. Can you apply that to the Taiwanese context or?、Uh, yeah.、Mm. Well, I think、um, speaking from sort of running the film festival,、mm -hmm. um, I, the reason why we have this film festival is actually to bring content to. Uh, the general audience,、mm -hmm. and including、um, the people who might not be living in kind of like the urban centers,、mm -hmm. where there's more easy access to go to an art house cinema and see actually an LGBT film.、Um, and actually, a lot of queer content that you can see for free online might not necessarily be that professional or might not be that well done.、Mm -hmm. And so, I think sort of、uh, the film festival and the films that we try and We produce also shorts,、um, LGBT shorts,、um, address that middle section、mm -hmm. that's not free and that's not、um, sort of accessible for people who live in sort of the urban areas.、Um, and the business model there is not necessarily one where. 
uh, people can see it for free, or else mm. we wouldn't really be able to have a sustainable sort of film festival. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say with that is uh, <laughs> it's an evolutionary process, and what the internet has provided for us is ability to test different things mm. and to see. Um, you know, whether once we re release something, that the audience connects with it, whether they comment on it, whether they share it, um, and use that big data to help us plan forward uh, something that is sort of a higher, potentially, production value. Mm -hmm. And I think um, content in this day and age will rely more and more on sort of big data mm -hmm. and figuring out um, where that audience is. But with the internet, you can actually create content from Taiwan and reach out to audiences in Germany or in Latvia or in Argentina. Yeah. So in that sense, it's making it very interesting. It's at the same time quite local, but because this community is um, prevalent in every single country in the world, at the same time quite global. Yeah. So. Um, you know, when you, when you talk about movie making and this really complex infrastructure of people being involved in the actual shoot and yeah. the, the business behind it, the finance. Yeah. What role does a jury play in this very complex structure, you know? Yeah. Um, what role does it play and how do you define your role too? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think jury uh, plays a very important role because even with kind of like the uh, selection at uh, the Bill and Alla at the 30th Teddy Award. Uh, there are like 40 some films that we are we have to see, um, or even more if you include the shorts. <clears throat> and so I, I don't think uh, an average person who has to work or who has a life really has that much time to see in a very short period of time uh, like 40 or 50 films. Mm. And so the role of the jury is actually to find within that batch, good ones in our opinion, that we would want to recommend um, you know, audiences, not just at the festival, but everywhere else, mm -hmm. to, as a distributor, to consider buying, mm -hmm. or as a film festival programmer, to consider program into their respective film festivals, mm -hmm. or, um, or to give it further sort of like legs, so that it's not just, you know, start and end here at the Berlinale or at the Teddy Awards, but then it, has, it can travel around. <laughs> Uh, more and more film circuits and more and more theaters throughout uh, as many regions as possible.